Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reacting to some threads in the reddit Am I the Asshole? So, in this reddit, people post threads describing a certain situation that they're in and they let people decide if they're the asshole or not. So let's look at some. Am I the asshole for telling my brother's girlfriend what he was planning to do before he passed away? My older brother passed away three weeks ago in an auto accident. It was devastating for the entire family, though he was low contact with them for minor disagreements. His girlfriend was the one devastated the most. She didn't eat or take a shower for an entire week. My parents took her in last week because she could no longer afford rent for the apartment she shared with my brother. Here's the situation. Before my brother passed away, I think this took place a month ago. He confined in me his problems with his girlfriend and said he was planning on breaking up with her next month. I thought that was too much for his girlfriend since she'd always been the one to try to work things out with my brother. To work things out, but my brother had issues. Seeing his girlfriend depressed to the point of losing weight and hearing her break down crying multiple, multiple times a day, I decided to sit down and tell her what my brother was planning on doing. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. If she's depressed and breaking down crying multiple times a day, why would you decide to tell her news that would make things worse? Unless that's your plan, you want to make things worse and you want to make her feel worse. I didn't just dish it out on her. I just told her what he told me, but she reacted in a very negative way. Well, duh. How did you think she was going to react? She had a breakdown, crying and screaming at me. My parents came rushing, asking what was happening, and I told them after my brother's girlfriend rushed upstairs. My parents berated me, saying I should never have said this to her, seeing how bereaved and struggling she was. I explained that I felt bad for her and didn't think it was fair for me to hide this important truth from her. If you felt bad for her, why would you knowingly do something that would make her feel worse? That doesn't make any sense. Now, if he intentionally did this, knowing that it was going to make her bad with, you know, the intention of making her feel bad, then that would have made more sense. But he's saying that he felt bad for her, so he did this. That doesn't make any sense. They told me I had no right. I agree. And this was not a good timing. I also agree. Also said that I just made it worse and tainted my brother's memory for her and confused her even more. I got punished harshly, but my friends agreed I did the right thing. What? Since my brother's girlfriend's situation is just tragic and she needed this piece of info, no she didn't. And I was right and considerate to give it to her. I wouldn't call it considerate. I really think I just let her know this because I felt guilty for hiding the truth from her, but I might be the asshole for what I did. I do think that this person is the asshole because it's not his place to do the breakup. Even if it's true that his brother was going to break up with the girlfriend, it's his job to do that. It's his right to do that. The brother, it's not his place to like break up with his brother's girlfriend on behalf of his now dead brother. Like, it doesn't make any sense. He's... It's just not his place to do it. And what's more confusing is that he's trying to frame it like, oh, telling her is considerate and it... it, it I don't understand. Like, he, he knows that she's going through a tough time. How would telling her have made it better? I don't understand. Like, he's, this post makes it seem as if the goal was to make things better by telling her. But did he seriously think that telling her that her that his brother was going to break up with her would make her feel better? It doesn't make any sense. And like I said, I think my main 
reason for thinking that this person is the asshole is that it's simply not his place. It's not his place to do this. It's his brother's. Let's see. You're the asshole. What good is that information to her? It was only going to hurt her more. Well, duh. She has a right to mourn for him. They were still together. And who's to say they wouldn't have worked through their issues had he discussed them with her? Yes, what is OP trying to achieve here? What his brother never did had no impact on their lives now. Telling her will hurt her and nothing more. Yeah. I completely agree with everything that he's saying. Let's look at another one. Am I the asshole for telling my cousin he can't do an interpretive dance at my dad's funeral? I get this might be a no-brainer to some, but hear me out. My dad passed a couple of days ago. It was a long time coming and only made worse by COVID. Tragic. I'm handling the funeral arrangements as I was named executor of his estate. I included my aunts and uncle in the planning process out of respect. While we were discussing, my aunt said my cousin, who is diagnosed with Asperger syndrome, wants to perform an interpretive dance at the church in front of the casket to bid your parentheses my father farewell. I said, no, absolutely not. For one, this is all happening in the church. The priest would have a stroke. Next, my cousin is not a good dancer. It's his hobby, and I'm happy he found something he loves, but I don't feel my dad's funeral is the right venue to showcase his moves to Candle in the Wind. My aunt is having a fit, and my cousin is also extremely upset, and has accused me of not letting him say goodbye to him in his own way. I told him that he's more than welcome to have a dance at the grave whenever he wants, but the funeral isn't that time. Another cousin told me he was planning to record it for a YouTube video, which hard no. I don't think it's respectful at all, and I know my dad would have hated the thing turning into a spectacle. Am I the asshole? I think it really depends on this last sentence right here. I don't think it's respectful at all, and I know my dad would have hated the thing. Personally speaking, if I died and I had a funeral, and everyone who's still alive knows that I would have hated a certain thing at my funeral, then it shouldn't be at my funeral. Like, she's saying she knows her dad would have hated the thing. And if that's the case... Out of respect for her father, they should avoid including this interpretive dance. Now, on the other hand, it was, if it was the opposite situation, if she knew that her dad would have loved having this interpretive dance at his funeral, then maybe it's the right thing to include it. But she's saying that she knows that her dad would have hated it. So she's not the asshole. And these other people, they're making a funeral of her father about themselves. It's the wrong thing to do. Let's see what other people say. Not the asshole, of course. This may be the best title of an Am I the Asshole post we'll see all year. I don't even care if it's real. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. I, I agree. I don't think that she's the asshole. I think the people who want to do the interpretive dance, they're in the wrong here. All right, let's see the next one. Am I the asshole for refusing to take my hijab off for a wedding? Can't believe I'm posting about it, but I made a whole new account so people in my life don't tie this to my main one. I... I am visibly Muslim as I wear a hijab. No, I do not care about your opinions 
uh, in regards to my religion, keep those thoughts to yourself. I also live in the south of the USA. Oh, she lives in the south. Thankfully, the specific city I live in is a large metropolitan one, so it's incredibly diverse and I rarely run into any issues. However, my friend, let's call her Sally, is marrying a man whose family is conservative American. I can see where this is going. Now, I couldn't care less about someone's political views unless they start trying to talk to me about it or shove it down my throat. Then, in my opinion, they invited me to the debate so they should prepare to hear my opinions since they gave theirs unsolicited. Now, the only time I don't do this is when it could negatively affect someone else, such as a week ago when I went to Sally's engagement party. Her in-laws were loudly talking about politics. Politics I didn't quite agree with, but they weren't talking to me, and even if they were, I wasn't going to cause drama and a fight at my friend's engagement party. However, during the party, I spent most of my time hanging out with a few friends, while Sally's in-laws kept looking at me oddly from the side of their eye. I try not to take it to heart, so I ignore it. The next day, Sally calls me to thank me for coming. At some point in the call, she seems nervous to say something, so I ask her to just spit it out. That's when she admitted that I made her in-laws uncomfortable, and as though they couldn't freely talk with someone like me around. I say sorry, but her in-laws seem like blatant racists, but it's not like I'm the one marrying them, so if she likes them, I hope she has a great wedding and I just won't come. Now, Sally was expecting my help during the wedding, as I freelance as a makeup artist. So she asked if I can just take off my hijab for the wedding and do her makeup while not scaring her in-laws. Here's where I may be the asshole. I tell her, no way in effing hell would I ever change myself or compromise my religion for a bunch of strangers, and I won't step foot near them as I'd hate to scare them. Now she's mad I offended her and her future family, and while my other friends say her suggestion was wildly inappropriate, I did promise to do her makeup for free, and with the wedding only a month away, I left her in a tough position. Am I the asshole? In this situation, I don't think that she is. Maybe the only reason why she would be is because she promised that she would do her makeup. But even if she did promise to do her makeup, it should be under her own terms and in a way that she feels comfortable. And if Sally is asking her to do something that she's not comfortable with while doing her a favor, like, I think that's going too far. If she still, if Sally still wants her makeup done for free at her wedding, she should allow this poster to do it in a way that makes her feel comfortable. So yeah, I don't think this person is the asshole at all. Not the asshole. No amount of makeup can make a racist slash racist enabler look pretty. Yeah. But yeah, if, if she's expecting a free makeup session at her wedding, like, I would expect the same thing too. Like, if someone was asking me for a favor, and I, like, uh, like I, I can do photography, right? If someone asked me to do photography at their wedding for free, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna agree to do it on my own terms and in a way where I can be comfortable. If they start asking me to do a whole bunch of sh stuff that I'm not comfortable with, then I'm just not gonna do it. Anyways, I think that's enough for now. I just wanted to test out <laughs> making these type of videos, but yeah, I think it went well um, for my first time. And I'm probably going to be making more of this in the future because these are pretty interesting, honestly. I don't know if all of them are real or not. Pretty sure some of them are. 
I think some some people just make up stories just to get attention on the internet, but in either case, they're still a very entertaining read. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.